Hi everyone, Greg here, and welcome to video 2 in the Ableton Tips and Tricks video series. Today I'm going to be talking about how to set up your own personal template. The reason we do this, especially for the more experienced guys, is if you guys start getting into a habit of certain audio effects placed in a very specific chain, or a very specific sequence, or you have certain instruments you go to on a regular basis, then it makes sense to make a template especially if that's the particular sound you're going for, or you know for a fact you are going to use that instrument or that plugin or that audio effect at some point. So I'm gonna be doing a 16 track template. I don't have time to get into the details of the audio effects. However, all of what I'm showing you is stock effects from Ableton Live Suite and stock instruments from Ableton Suite. That said, let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to instantiate is the utility followed by EQ8, and then we're going to choose Reverb, and finally a Compressor. Actually one extra I'm going to add in here just for a little extra processing and less rumble later down the road is a high pass filter set at 50 hertz. Then what we're going to do is shift click, select all of them, and press command G. And this will load them all into an audio effects rack. From there, I'm going to macro map specific commands. In this case, I'm going to map the gain of the utility to macro one, the cutoff frequency and the auto filter to macro two, gain of parameter 5 on EQ8 to macro 3, dry wet to macro 4, and threshold to macro 5. I have my APC plugged in and for the threshold for example I can move macro 5 and you'll notice that I can move it and it's very very smooth and it's obviously been mapped. Now once this is all done and I have all the macros set how I want them, I'm going to go to the audio track I've been working in and press command D seven times. What this does is duplicate the exact same audio track I was just working in seven times over. So the audio rack has been duplicated within each track and that saves you a ton of time as opposed to dragging and dropping all of the plugins on again and again and again. What I'm also going to do is I'm going to copy the audio effect rack by pressing Command C. I'm going to go to the MIDI track and I'm going to right click paste. And then what I'm going to do now is do the same thing. Command D seven times. So now that it says 16 MIDI, this means that I have 16 tracks going so far in Ableton. Now what I'm going to do is actually color code a few of these tracks for the purpose of this video. So I'm going to make the audio blue, and I'll make the MIDI green. So what do I do now? Well, I have all my audio tracks ready and then I can route the inputs and outputs as necessary. But what I really want to do is actually start instantiating instruments. So what I'm going to do on channels 9 and 10 Let's go to the Instruments tab, and I'm going to drag and drop two instances of Operator, one per channel. On 11 and 12, I'm going to go to my Max for Live section, Max Instrument, and I'm going to load Granulator. Now that it went through the animation, it's instantiated. I will load it again on channel 12. Once more the animation shows it is ready. On channels 13 and 14, we are going to go back to the instruments 
and I'm going to load analog into number 13 and number 14. So if we take a look, both are loaded, we move on. Channels 15 and 16. What I'm going to do on channel 15 is load the collision instrument, and then what I'm going to load on channel 16 is sampler. We won't worry about sends and returns for now. That applies much more to uh, mixing, which I will get to in a later video. So, we've got 16 tracks with audio effects and our instruments with our other audio effects ready to go. So what do we do now? We have our full template created. What we do now, we go to File, Save Live Set. In this case, we will save it to the desktop. And I'm going to call this Template 1. And we click Save. All right, in the top, you'll see it says template one, and that means the template has been saved. So that concludes this tutorial. Uh, again, my name is Greg, and I will see you in video three.